what's up you guys it's your girl Melissa here welcome back to my channel as you can see I'm here in my bedroom it is January 8th right now and I'm gonna be doing some work on my computer you know sometimes I like to work in my bedroom um, just cuz it's more chill more relaxing if I'm doing like a lot of computer work sometimes it can be distracting because I'll just end up laying down in my bed but <laughs> I'm not feeling that way today so I feel like it'll be good but basically as some of you guys may know um, I have an e-commerce website where I sell my art and like merch and apparel and all that stuff and I've been wanting to design a new shirt for my apparel line and Black History Month is next month so I was thinking of designing a black history month hoodie so that's basically what I'm going to be working on right now I have a black history month painting that I made a couple years ago and I've always wanted to turn it into a shirt of some kind so I feel like now is the perfect time to do it and it usually takes about a month to go from a design to the finished inventory so if i want to get this shirt ready for black history month i need to work on it now so that is my plan i'm gonna put the mock-up design together just like working on photoshop and all that stuff and i'm gonna show you guys the design when i'm done working on it so yeah that's what i'm about to do <laughs> So it's nighttime now. It's been an hour and a bit, I guess. And I'm done the mock ups. Let me show you guys what I got. Okay, so as you guys can see, I end up making two different versions. So I have one where it's a black hoodie, and then this is like a heather white, I guess you could say. And I like both of them. I really do. I can't decide which one I like better. <laughs> I felt like I first started with the black because I'm like, it's a black history month sweater. So, you know, black, black. <laughs> but then I'm like, I saw this hoodie and I'm like, I really like the color of this. So I, I'm just like, let me try it out. And I put it on and I'm like, it actually looks really good. The reds and the colors pop more on the white versus the black. And the black like blends in more, which I like. I like either version. So honestly, I can't decide at this point. So let me know in the comments down below which version you guys like better, the black or the white. I don't know. I'm gonna ask um, my followers on Instagram as well which one they like better. And basically whichever version the people like better is the version that I'm gonna go with. So I guess I'll find that out soon once I get some feedback from you guys. Um, but for now, I'm gonna pause this project and eat something because I'm starving right now. Um, I actually ordered a pizza. <laughs> so I'm sitting here. I'm currently waiting for Domino's to uh, finish bacon my pizza shout out to nathan who put my order in the oven at 6 10 p.m <laughs> so yeah <laughs> i'm gonna eat probably watch queen's gambit on netflix that show was really good you guys first i was like should i watch it i don't know but it's actually a really good show i've been binging it for the past few days so <laughs> yeah and then after dinner i'll probably do some more work we'll see how i feel we'll see how i feel <laughs>
guys, so it is the next day and I'm here in the studio with my beautiful mother. Hey! <laughs> so, my mom, she just started um, doing bookkeeping. So, she's starting her own uh, bookkeeping company, you know, entrepreneurship through the family, yes. <laughs> so, obviously, um, she will be taking over my bookkeeping. So we're just here working on QuickBooks and I'm just going through like all my my accounts, all my transactions and just like running her through like how my bookkeeping works so that she could eventually take it over. Right? Yay! <laughs> right. <laughs> so yeah, I got all my receipts from 2020 in here and so we're just closing the books out right now i think i only have november and december to go through so yeah i'll probably take a few hours i think today we're gonna just focus on expenses yeah any words for the vlog no okay <laughs> <That's fine. laughs> So it is Monday, January 11th. <laughs> we got Ashton in the building. What up, what up? Uh, um, as some of you may know, Ashton is my lovely studio helper. He's amazing. He packages the orders. So as you can see, we're about to start printing some prints. Um, we got the printer. Ready to go. How do you feel? Good, good. Great. <laughs> Can't wait. <laughs> Send y'all some stuff, some goodies. Some goodies. So yeah, shout out to everyone who orders from my website. I appreciate you guys so much and trust we are taking good care of your prints here at M. Faulkner. So yeah, while Ashton works up here packaging orders, I'm gonna be working downstairs on some like website stuff. You know, surprisingly as an artist, I spend a lot more of my time doing like computer work than actual like painting work. Cause you know, I have to like run a store, emails, um, edit products, order products, all that stuff. And it ends up taking a lot of time actually. So, but hopefully by the end of the day, I could finish all the computer work that I have and get back to actually painting, which is what I love doing the most. So that is the plan. So I'm working. 
working on placing the order for the new hoodies that I've been designing. So I did a poll on my Instagram to ask the people which colors they like better. So this is the poll that I did on my stories and I got a lot of votes. Like I got almost 400 votes for this. So black versus, this is like a cream, it's a heathered oatmeal technically, um, and 64% of people voted black, 36% voted cream. So black obviously won, but a lot of people were in my DMs saying, I don't care how many people voted for black, do cream, or like do both, like I got so many messages, and I think I personally prefer the cream. Like after looking at it, I think the brighter color is just like nicer and the artwork pops more. So I think I'm actually gonna do both colors. This is the first time I'm releasing like a design with like two separate color options. So I'm a bit nervous of it being complicated, but I gotta give the people what they want. I, like I feel bad letting all the people who voted cream like just go without the shirt like if the vote was more drastic i would just forget about it but because i also personally like it i want one for myself so that's what i'm gonna do but i'm gonna order more black than cream so similar to the vote i'm gonna order like 30 percent of the hoodies are gonna be cream and the other 60 percent are gonna be black so i feel like that's gonna make the most sense so i'm literally here on my computer typing up the email to my supplier to place the order and I'm gonna order two samples a sample of black and a sample of the cream just to make sure that it looks right like I've never actually um, used this hoodie manufacturer before so it's a new brand so that's why I'm ordering a sample always order samples anyways to just make sure the print quality of the shirt is good as well but yeah I'm excited to see the um, hoodies in person and get the samples before I order like all the bulk quantities so but first I want to decide like what size sample to order so I'm not familiar with the sizing of this brand so I'm taking some measurements to see like which size sample I should get so this hoodie right here is one of my favorite fitting hoodies like I don't know what it is about this hoodie. I just got it at like a regular store, but the fit of this hoodie on my body, like it's my favorite fit hoodie out of every type of hoodie that I own. So I'm measuring this hoodie to see what size of the other brand I should get. So let's do some like measurements. So the width is about 22 inches um, wide across and 23 inches um, long. So according to this website, um, the medium is probably the closest because it's 22 inches wide, but the length is longer. It's 28 inches long. So I'm still gonna get it. I'm still gonna try it out. Yeah, I kind of like long like tops like I'll get really long t-shirts and like long hoodies it depends like I'm really gonna have to order it to see that's the whole point of getting this sample so we'll see how it turns out but yeah I'm really excited for this hoodie like when I get it like I think it's gonna be one of my favorite um, releases I haven't done a hoodie in a long time too so yeah it's gonna be fun
guys, so I'm back in my studio. I just got back from shipping out my orders. As you can see, I've got my painting in the background that I started in my last video, and I haven't touched it since. Still only got the background done, and you know, these past few days, as you guys just watched, has been really filled with like administrative and operational type work for my business, which tends to overtake all my time. And I just have this painting, like I have all my setup just, just waiting for me to get back to finish it. And literally every day I wake up, my heart is like, go finish your painting, go finish your painting. But I'm like, but I have to order this apparel, but I have to do my accounting, but I have to do this. So, now I think I'm at the point where I got most of my admin stuff out the way and I could finally get back to this painting. But I feel like this video is already kind of long and I don't want to make it super long. Um, so I'm going to end this video right here, but I promise you guys, like promise. The next video I will resume working on this piece. I really want to make it a habit to actually practice my artwork more often. But I hope you did enjoy this video, seeing like the behind the scenes of what goes on. Like I'm not just laying around doing nothing instead of painting, you know? I'm out here working, I'm out here hustling. So there's a lot that goes on when you run your own art business. You have to be an artist and an entrepreneur at the same time as you can see. So this is real life stuff. But yeah, I literally will probably even start painting tonight, tomorrow for sure, for sure. So tune in to the next video to see me finish working on this and subscribe so you don't miss out on that. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.